Susan Athey. I'm the Economics of Technology professor at the Stanford Graduate School of Business, uh, where I teach about the economics of digital platform markets. I've always been interested in the intersection of economics and computer science. So when I was an undergraduate, I was a math, computer science, and economics triple major. And I actually um, got interested in economics because I was in a computer startup and I was selling uh, computers to the government uh, through procurement auctions. So I started doing research on auctions. Um, I wrote my undergraduate thesis on timber auctions. Um, and at that time, in the late 1980s, nobody even knew what an auction was, so it didn't make for very good airplane or cocktail party conversation. But with the advent of the internet, suddenly these topics got a lot sexier. Um, so I worked on designing real world markets. Um, and what I love about designing real markets is that they, you, you, you get um, guided by real world questions into doing great science. So what's really exciting to me is the bringing together the tools from economics and social science uh, with the engineering problems as well as problems from machine learning. And so we, we're seeing in the, in the problem of designing a marketplace that you really can't attack the problem without understanding the economics of the system, without understanding what motivates the sellers, and without having a conceptual framework to bring to the data. But yet, if you're doing large-scale online experimentation, it's very difficult to do that with just sort of standard social science tools. And so what's, what's really amazing about the opportunity is that if you have social science and economics toolkit, but you combine it with new methodology, you can answer questions uh, in a way that, that wasn't possible before. So one of the things that's really exciting is the techniques that I'm working on are adopted in almost real time by some of the largest online marketplaces and platforms. And so you really know that what you're working on is gonna have an impact and you know that it's not just some abstract theory, but that it's, it's really gonna be important. When you think about marketplaces, it could be anything from eBay to Amazon, or I have a lot of experience working with the Bing advertising marketplace where you're matching buyers and sellers uh, through the search engine. And so in those types of marketplaces, you need to use data to manage them in, in somewhat different ways than, than just the standard problem of, for example, using data to design a user experience. And the reason is that you have really dynamic interactions between buyers, between sellers, and among sellers. And so if you change one thing about what users see, it can feed back into seller behavior in very difficult to anticipate ways. For example, promoting smaller sellers to the top of a ranking, that that's going to change their everybody's bidding behavior, and it might even change people's incentives to stay on the platform. A lot of the costs and benefits of sharing economy have been talked about in the press, but economists find it very exciting that these new marketplaces allow unutilized resources to get utilized. Empty rooms, unused cars, and people's time. You have students, you have stay-at-home mothers, you have all sorts of people who have time on their hands and would love to make a little extra money. And in the past, there, the, there were no markets through which they could actually sell their labor in a flexible way or sell their time in managing a spare room or things like that. And so these, these sharing economy businesses allow people to monetize, unmonetized time, and they also allow people to um, bring services that used to be provided in an informal way into the formal economy. So data science, I think of as really two parts. First of all, it's using data to do science. And generally, science is about answering questions and, and developing understanding, testing hypotheses. So that's what I just referred to, that really the, in the social sciences and economics, we have a very long tradition of using data to answer questions and test hypotheses. So we think of data as sort of an input to the scientific method. Um, and that, in some sense, is, is absent from, say, a, if you get a master's degree in machine learning, you might really not think about things that way, think about using data to answer questions. Um, you would learn instead sort of a, a, a bag of tricks for um, doing prediction and so on, or doing classification. Well, while the other part of it is the science of using data, that's statistical science, uh, machine learning science, econometrics, um, and biostatistics, and so on. And so I work in both of those areas, uh, using data to answer economic questions, as well as developing new statistical methodology. And right now, my, the heart of my research is about that intersection, 
that is developing new machine learning tools that are better designed to answer questions and test hypotheses and so on using data. And so I think the a conference for women in data science is really exciting because this is a growth area. And actually, I think women have always done well in new areas. So actually, at the beginning of computer science, uh, women had a bigger role than they do today. And it's a great opportunity, I think, for women to really excel. Um, of course, you know, nobody likes stereotypes, and I don't fit very many female stereotypes myself. But I would say that making some stereotypes, if you think about using data science in both research and in business, um, to be most effective, you need to com have a combination of skills. You need to be able to have a conceptual understanding to frame a question. Then you need to pick the right methodology, apply the methodology, perhaps modify the methodology. And then you need to communicate the results in a way that's convincing. And so, in, especially in the business world, you don't really succeed without having that whole combination. Um, and so, stereotypically anyways, uh, women can be quite strong at bringing together these multiple skills. Data science is revolutionizing science right now, and so being part of that revolution and trying to encourage it and encourage young people to join it uh, is a really exciting thing to do.